The 5 is half of 10 strategy is a quick and efficient method to multiply two numbers together when one number is at or near a group of 5. Let's demonstrate using 5 times 14. To use this strategy, I am first going to multiply 14 times 10 because that is an easier multiplication problem for me to perform. Now, I am going to take my factor of 10 and cut it in half to get to my original problem. Hence the name 5 is half of 10. This means I need to also cut my answer, or product, in half to get the answer to my original problem. With some problems, multiplying by 10 and then cutting the result in half will be quicker and easier than using other multiplication methods to get my answer. Let's continue using 50 times 84. If I think about how 5 is half of 10, then I also know that 50 is half of 100. Let's double my factor of 50 to get to 100, and multiply 84 times 100 to get 8,400. Now, I have to cut my 100 in half to get 50 from my original problem, which means I can cut my answer in half to get my final answer. Half of 8,000 is 4,000, and half of 400 is 200. If I add those partial halves together, I get the answer to my original problem, 4,200. This strategy will continue to work for 500, 5,000, 50,000, and so on. But what happens if one of my factors isn't exactly a group of 5, but close to a group of 5? We can get really creative and combine other multiplication strategies with the 5 is half of 10 strategy to find our answers. Let's combine the over strategy with the 5 is half of 10 strategy using the problem 48 times 14. 48 is close to 50, which guides me towards using the 5 is half of 10 strategy. Let's first go to 100 times 14. Then we're going to make our cuts to 100 and 1,400. This brings me to 50 times 14 equals 700. 50 is two groups of 14 over my original 48 groups of 14 that I had. So I am going to subtract two groups of 14, or 28, from my 700 to get the answer to my original problem, which is 672.